blood bank? If you don't have malaria, hepatitis, or TB, we'd like to have a pint of your blood. miles in on the Nahani Range Road. Uh, we're at a fire burn here. Really pretty. Really pretty. We've got a beaver pond here. You see all the uh, fireweed back there. It's, uh, it's starting out pretty nice. Really nice. I like it. Boy, that's uh, pretty and peaceful. I was hoping I could see a beaver here, but I don't see one yet.
about 150 miles into the Nahani Range. Came on this little lake here. It's uh, really, really pretty. Really pretty. Uh, the mountains are just now starting to appear and get uh, more and more incredible. You can look around here. You see it behind me at the, the mountains up there. No, I really like this lake. The setting of this lake is really pretty. Um, everything on the bike seems to be going well. No, no flats. No oil, no dripping. Everything seems to be just fine. at the end of the road. Not sure how much farther. I am going to try to find a camp out here. I am sure this place is infested with grizzlies, but I'm not going to worry so much about it. It's uh, fantastically beautiful out here. Unbelievable, actually. I am amazed. It's more beautiful than I than I imagined. I brought extra extra fuel with me. Um, it's going to be a tad over 400 miles in and out of here. 
but no no gasoline. Um, so I bought three extra gallons with me. I already dumped off a gallon in in the tank. I got two more gallons to go. Should get me out of here. I uh, haven't had any near misses on the road. That's that's really good. Uh, I can tell though that uh, if it does get wet here, it will be really interesting to get out of here. So that's where I'm trying to play my cards properly. Do I spend the night here or do I go back? This is the kind of country you would never be able to drive into in the Yukon. Actually, you wouldn't be able to drive into this and in just about any place in the world. But here they put a mine in and they cut this road back in the in the Northwest Territories. Actually, this is the Northwest Territories. I crossed at some point back there, probably at that valley. Um, absolutely gorgeous. This is the Nahani Range. Um, just a little bit beyond this, maybe maybe on the ridge tops is the is the Nahani Range Park or Nahani Park, and then Nahani River flows through there. Um, has seen very few boot tracks. Um, very few people have gone in there. It's it's rough country. The best way to travel is through the Nahani River, actually. Um, that's actually a trip on my bucket list. Um, but you have to fly boats in and everything. It's not a, a, a cheap or uh, inexpensive, and it's not an easy thing to do, actually. So, all right, well, let's go find a camp down below here, or see what is below, see if we can find a camp, or we have to go back out on the uh, the valley there. Either way, it's beautiful. I'm going to enjoy my evening. Well, I'm all tucked in for tonight. I uh, made it to Tungsten. I found a and really the, nice uh, site along the river here. Really, really beautiful. Um, nice creek, I can get some water. Uh, I have my bear spray. Uh, I'm not too worried about any bears or anything like that. Um, there is a few trappers cabins along here. I didn't see anybody at them though, but uh, um, just in case uh, things go bad for whatever reason, I think I can get help at the mine. Uh, it looked like there was people there. I, I rode through it. No one uh, saw me, I don't think. I uh, wasn't supposed to enter the, the mining operation. But, uh, so what? What are they going to do? I guess they could put me in jail. Or just slap my hand and said, don't do that again. Uh, is a gorgeous ride out here. I can't describe it. This is like a miniature, miniature Dempster Highway. Uh, it started out in the brush and then it opened up into what you see here. Um, in fact, here's the road. You can see the road. The road was uh, really good condition. Gravel. No, I didn't see any calcium chloride. There'll be spots though if it rains where it will, it will be very, very tricky to get out. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's warm too. It's like 63 degrees. I, I am not cold at all. Um, the bugs are, are not bad. 
Uh, I can't believe how how uh, good the bugs have been on this whole trip. Uh, everybody's been mentioning that. All right, well, I'm gonna go make some dinner. Incredible. Not sure if this will come out or not. At least you can hear me. Can you hear the tent? Yeah, that's rain. That's rain. I'm 200 miles in at the end of the, uh, the Nahani Range Road. Found a really nice camp last night. And now I can't get out. There is no way I can leave this. Not with this kind of weather. The roads are going to be suicide to leave. What I'm going to do is hunker down for here for a, a while. But if uh, things get desperate, what I will do is I will head into uh, Tungsten and see if there's anybody there that will put me up. Uh, at least last night when I rode through there, it looked like uh, there was uh, an area that had shelter. Uh, I don't know if they would put up with me or not. We'll find out. What a difference a few hours makes. It was pouring buckets last night. I don't look too good. I just crawled out of the tent um, right now. But uh, yeah, it was pouring buckets. I was in pretty dire straits thinking that I had made a mistake coming here. But look at it now. Sun's coming out. Fog is uh, in the air but it's uh, clearing out. It's really, really um, quite something. It's cold right now, but it's something else. There's the camp behind me. Um, if you look on the ridge back here, you can kind of see, let's see if you can get it back there. You can kind of see that the sun's about ready to peep over. You can see back here definitely um, the uh, Right there, you can see the stripe of the sun. It's gonna be cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold up here for a little bit and let this uh, sun come out, dry out everything out. It well, good morning. We're a little more wet. cheerful now, are we? Yes, we are. The sun's out. Look at that sunshine! Yay! Um, we're drying things out. I was going to leave. It was so foggy here. I didn't think the sun was going to poke through, but it, it did. And uh, wow, fantastic. I'm going to uh, dry everything out, pack. My idea originally was to uh, pack the tent wet and leave it on the outside and stop later, but not now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine and this wilderness. This is, this is cool. You can see behind me up there the, the mountains. Um, it's all clear. Beautiful. I had my breakfast, had some coffee. I'm in better spirits than last night. I thought I was going to be riding out of here in miserable rain. I didn't know what I'd done to myself. The road still might be a little iffy because of all the wet, but uh, yeah, I am. I'm doing it. I'm living it. This is awesome. And here is my camp as it's drying out. Pretty incredible. We'll pan over here to the Nahani Range Road. I'm really surprised at how good and how packed the soil is on this road. It's not at all like the Dempster or some of the other roads I've been on. Absolutely um, a pleasure to ride with the exception of a few spots. It's an adventure, that's for sure.